You kill more blessings by not being grateful. That's the number one blessing blocker, lack of gratitude. Wake up every day and start being grateful. Wake up every day. Don't, don't check your phone first. Don't check your texts and messages. Wake up every morning and just start thanking him for just your life, your kids, your job, your house, your food, your clothes, your money, your car, your husband, your boyfriend. And then immediately after that, you'll have a better day. And then watch, he start giving you more stuff. It's really not a magic trick to getting rich, man. You just have to learn the principles of success. It's not mature gratitude to thank God for what he's given you. That's just manners. That's just, that's just good manners. That's just politeness. But now we got to decide what kind of Christians we want to be. Are we only going to thank him for the food? Are we only going to thank him for the finances? Are we only going to thank him for the fiance? Or are we going to thank him even though I'm single? Where you want to sit? See, you got to enjoy the process. You got, you got to be grateful when you're making 50000 Then you got to be grateful when you get to 75000 You got to be grateful at 80000 A lot of people stay pissed off because they ain't a millionaire. But I got news for you. If you pissed off where you are right now, you'll never be a millionaire. You want me to tell you why? Because there is a principle of success that God requires our gratitude. The more you're grateful for, the more God will give you to be grateful for. Ungratitude is sin. It is. It's in Romans 1. Now I know that. Ingratitude. It's along with all the bad ones too. So. I mean, sin is sin, and ingratitude is a sin. So the Apostle Paul, in prison, his world collapsing around him, uh, said, be anxious for nothing, but in everything, and here's how you do it, in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving. Hmm. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. So he envisions a person who says, okay, I'm not going to worry today, but every time I worry, Every time worry surfaces, I'm going to treat it with prayer. I'm going to treat my frets with prayer. Somebody said the path to peace is paved with prayer. Because see, God, he real smart. He got this system set up real smart. So you can immediately increase your life by being grateful. Instead of complaining about what's going on. Man, I got to go to work today. Man, I got these kids. See, you asked for all this shit. Remember when you wanted a job? Remember when you wanted a baby? Remember when you wanted to get the new car? Well, the new car come with some bills. Well, remember when you wanted to get you a bigger place? You got the bigger place. It costs more money. You know what I learned? You can't cry about what's on your plate when your whole goal was to eat. You can't, man. And if you, the moment you start showing God more gratitude, he'll give you more stuff because he's such a fair God. You know, what he do is he not going to keep giving you stuff if what you got you can't handle already. So he ain't going to put no more on you than you can bear. So why are you tripping about all you got to do? He said, well, let me quit giving him stuff to do because he already can't handle this here. You kill more blessings by not being grateful. That's the number one blessing blocker, lack of gratitude. That's the number one reason I have what I have, and that's the number one reason why I'm going to get more, because I just stay grateful for what I have.